How do tsunamis form? Imagine a calm ocean, then suddenly, a towering wall of water races towards shore. Tsunamis. They are not regular waves, they are immense, destructive forces. But how do tsunamis form? It is a powerful displacement of the ocean. Uncover these terrifying secrets. Let's begin with Earth's shifting crust underwater earthquakes. Most tsunamis start with powerful underwater earthquakes. Tectonic plates beneath the ocean floor abruptly shift. This causes the seafloor to move vertically. This sudden movement acts like a giant paddle, displacing an enormous volume of water. This is the primary trigger. When the seafloor moves water displacement, unlike regular waves, a tsunami involves the entire water column. When the seafloor lifts or drops due to an earthquake, it shoves this column of water with immense force. This creates a series of powerful waves that can travel across entire ocean basins. Here comes the journey across the open ocean. In the deep, open ocean, a tsunami travels incredibly fast, sometimes over 500 miles per hour. Yet, wave height might be only a few feet, undetectable to ships. Energy spreads through the entire water column, not just the surface. Time to rise up approaching the coast. As a tsunami nears shallower coastal waters, its front slows. The back catches up. This compresses the tsunami's energy. The wave dramatically increases in height, forming a towering wall of water that crashes onto shore with devastating force. What follows multiple waves? A tsunami is not one wave. It is typically a series of waves, often arriving minutes or even hours apart. The first wave might not be the largest. So, how do tsunamis form? They are born from sudden underwater earthquakes displacing ocean water. This energy travels as fast, low waves across the deep ocean, then builds into towering walls upon reaching shallow coasts. A powerful display of nature.